Randy, that's the first time I see something that far away to push that kind of water. And folks at Grand Isle are dealing with flooding this afternoon as Tropical Storm Alberto pushed water on shore early this morning. This is a look at some of the new images from that barrier island. The mayor tells me that they even had to wake up several people early this morning, telling them to move their campers from parking lots with that water coming up fast on the backside of the island early this morning, an area without levee protection. Right now, LA one is dealing with high water. We do know that all the pumps are working, according to Mayor David Carmadel. The mayor says they're doing everything that they can right now that there's trash from Fushan flowing into Grand Isle. There's a tractor out there picking that up as we speak, but he says he's really just shocked that this storm so far away would cause these kinds of problems here at home. The tide is going down as we speak and the pumps are working and Jefferson Parish is just sending some more pumps because we know that, you know, this wind can pick up during the night and this storm, this little tropical storm, is going to work Texas. Uh, I never thought it pushed this kind of water this way, you know. Well, he is asking people to avoid driving through any high water for the time being, and that they'll be monitoring the possibility of high water again tomorrow with the tide coming in. In Mississippi, there are nearly 200 streets experiencing flooding right now from Bay St. Louis to Waveland, Diamond Head, dozens of which are impassable right now. The police and fire departments are monitoring the situation, but say the tidal issues are causing that water to rise even as we speak. We'll certainly keep you updated on Alberto as it makes its way through the Gulf on our free WDSU mobile app, as well as our website. That's WDSU.com. Happening right now, New Orleans police are searching.